Greetings. It is June the 11th, and our reading is from the 7th chapter of St. Matthew, verses 1 through 5. Do not judge, so that you may not be judged. For with the judgment you make, you will be judged, and the measure you give will be the measure you get. Why do you see the speck in your neighbor's eye, but do not notice the log in your own eye? Or how can you say to your neighbor, let me take the speck out of your eye, while the log is in your own eye? You hypocrite. First, take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to, say, to take the speck out of your neighbor's eye. So, this is one we have heard. Um, and and let's be clear here, right? This is, this is about Jesus trying to help us with our relationships with one another, right? This is, this is not uh, about our relationship with God. Our relationship with God, certainly from a God perspective, is based solely and completely on God's loving grace. Okay, so, so with that in mind, Jesus points to how harmful judgment can be when we deal with one another. Right, there it is, right? how, how these things can really harm us. If you judge somebody, it comes right back on you in the same measure. Right? You know, it, is, it is judging in this kind of peace is nothing but destructive. Nevertheless, unfortunately, judging is something that happens all too easily. Our society judges people for all kinds of reasons. And in the end, those things end up harming and hurting. Jesus tells us, Jesus tells us that the judgment here belongs to God. That, that our role, and, and not that this is an easy role, but our role is to find ways to love each other, not to judge each other. Right? That's how that's how God would call us to be. Let us pray. Dear God, help us in a world that so easily wants to judge to find peace to find justice for all people and to change how we operate and deal with one another and rather more mimic you in that pure and wonderful love you offer. Dear God, inspire leaders to create a fair and a just society. Heavenly God, we pray for the pandemic that we continue to live in. We pray that it would not rise to new levels of, of trial and, and difficulty. And that, dear God, you would be with all those who have been affected and are affected now, that you would give them your, your peace, your energy, your comfort, your wisdom. And dear God, we also pray for this congregation, St. Andrews, that as they meet and, and to struggle with what to do next with the building that you have given us, dear God, give them inspired, loving wisdom. We pray all these things through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.